beautiful shoe and leather patterns, but also addresses concerns about and control of these compounds and sort of having sustainable manufacturing practices. He's a member of a group that includes jellyfish, sea anemones, and corals. It is an animal that grows on shells of hermit crabs. And the reason why we are particularly interested in it, literally, it's not going to die or anything. It will just regrow a new head. Which happens all the time in rock pools, hydractinia heads being a tasty morsel for grazing fish. So these are the tanks where we keep uh, the hydractinia. And what you see here are these, these blue sticks on the tip of every stick. Uh, there is a shell. And hydroctinia is actually the, the furry stuff that is growing on the shell. Absolutely gorgeous. It looks like rabbit fur almost. Yes, it is. And each of these individual hairs is, uh, is an animal. Okay, they are, they are quite... Death comes slow to some of the salmon. Incredible to think that this journey for the sockeye salmon starts hundreds of kilometers away at the mouth of the Fraser River. But before that, they're out in the open ocean for four years. And then they make their way home to the same place where they were hatched. Same river, same tributary, same everything.
46, 20 degrees Celsius. I came and I saw there were salmon in the river, but the main park is closed. And I saw, while I was there, two other vehicles pull up, turn around and head away. And there were older people, because older people aren't working. They, they're on retirement, and if they're traveling around and want to see something, and they've heard about it, and, and decide to come and visit it, they're very pretty disappointed and they don't know about all the other areas where you can go to see the salmon and for that matter where I went down to film the salmon in a little stream 
older people couldn't even make it down there. I mean, with my bad knee, I had a hard time getting down and even a harder one getting up. So it's, uh, there's no excuse. If they had to do a uh, touch up or fix up or uh, do something to the park, it should have been done in the summer season when there's no tourists around because there's no fish there and it should have been open and ready for the fall salmon migration. Just no excuse for it.